And I'm here with the actual global brand manager of Tessera um, <laughs> this time. Um, and um, we are going to talk about the multi-sensory experience of uh, Tessera. Cyrops, tell me first, what is a multi-sensory experience? Uh, so essentially, um, you know, the, the times where uh, uh, the cocktails just um, having a good taste are long gone. Uh, uh, the customers are way more demanding, they want more complex drinks, uh, so the compl complexity of the drinks is being brought up by the bartenders and they're trying to think um, and put a lot of thought in, in behind um, engaging more senses uh, uh, when creating a cocktail to, um, to engage all the senses into multi-sensory uh, multi experience uh, that brings uh, amazing flavor. So um, I've actually prepared um, uh, a quick drink just to show you. So, um, um, so basically, um, uh, when you think about the five senses, um, uh, which is obviously taste, smell, uh, sight, uh, hearing, and touch, so uh, uh, the taste it can be easily um, uh, enhanced by adding a different sensation, which in this case is actually a uh, burning sensation or kind of warmth, uh, which is brought uh, to the drink by the, the tester ginger uh, syrup that has a very nice uh, uh, warm uh, sensation to it. A burning sensation in your yeah, mouth like, as well. So it, if, when you, whenever you try the, a fresh ginger, you know, when you chew on it, it has, it has kind of, you know, the warmth uh, that brings to it. So that actually adds to the, uh, to the senses. So it's a, it's, a, it's a sensation that you wouldn't normally get in a, in a regular cocktails back in the day. So um, then we're going to add a, a bit of a gin. Uh, to it, and this is a drink that uh, it's quite on trend because it's a gin and tonic that's going to have a coffee float. Um, so um, we're also going to add a little bit of citrus, which is going to squeeze it in. Yeah, whatever. Um, and after that, we're going to add a dash of angostura for a little bit of complexity uh, because it brings aromas. So if you think about uh, you know aroma and a smell. Uh, smell is the most dominant flavor sense because it, um, um, it, it has a power recall to your memory and for some reason it stays in your, uh, in your, in your brain you know, for the longest time. So smell is something you're going to remember for your whole life. That's why when you smell something familiar, you're like, oh, this yeah, it takes you back. back. Exactly. So um, uh, having this, we're going to add a bit of ice. And then we're going to use a, a tonic from a London Essence Company, uh, which is an amazing range of, uh, of mixers for, uh, for, for, for spirits. So we're going to... What, did that ginger syrup, did it uh, contain alcohol? Is it a liquor or is it a syrup? No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a syrup, yeah. Um, it's pure syrup made with uh, two sugars and, uh, and ginger juice inside. So uh, with this, we're actually going to float... Uh, a bit of a coffee on the top. Coffee, that's interesting. Uh, not a lot, just about like 30 mils. It's, uh, it's very popular, like gin and tonics with a coffee right now. It's, uh, it's a big trend in, in London. So right now we're just going to um, add a bit of crushed ice. And then uh, we're going to finish it up with, uh, with the sweet notes. So I haven't used uh, a lot of uh, sweet elements in a drink apart from the ginger syrup that is not really that sweet. So, um, uh, you know, uh, when you're talking about multi-sensory experience, the, 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 visu the visual uh, is very important because it sets expectations. So that means that if you're looking at something sweet, it brings the sweet notes to your drink without actually having it inside. So what That's we interesting. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to add a little of, uh, uh, a sweet pumpkin on the top and we're going to finish it with a salted caramel macaroon. And of course, uh, we're going to add a little bit of mint. Because the, the mint just contributes you know, to the, to the multi-sensory experience by bringing another layer uh, in the drink without actually bringing it to the palate. So just going to stick it in. And here you go, uh, a little tessere uh, gin and tonic with a coffee float and salted caramel flavor.